I think this is something that I could do again in future. Keep your day job. Hello, this is Jinx, and today I'd like to share with you my experience being an actor in a commercial video. I'm actually a composer, music producer for movies and commercials, so most of my work, no, wait a minute, all, all of my work is done in a studio far, far away from the bright lights of a movie set or a commercial shoot. But one day, just as I was getting done with one of my musical projects, I was scrolling down Facebook and I saw a post from Dan Koo Productions uh, and it said that they required some actors for a shoot that they were desperately trying to get done in a few days. So, you know, since I had a couple of days before my next project, I thought, yeah, you know, let's look at the roles and see what I can get, you know. And I found one role that was of an age range that was closest to my age. So I'm thinking, mm, yeah, maybe I'd go for that. And so I messaged the producer on WhatsApp and the producer came back to me and said, okay, cool. Uh, okay, why don't you send us two videos? Send us an introduction video, uh, which is basically a video of myself telling my name, oh, my, name my height you. and my age. And another video showcasing the actions that they require for the role that I was interested in. So I did both videos. And I quickly realized after doing the first introduction video in five, was it five, six, seven takes, that uh, I realized that I'm glad the role didn't require any dialogue because I suck when it comes to talking in front of a camera. But finally, after about an hour or so, I got all those videos done and I sent it over to the producer. So a couple of days go by and uh, I hear nothing. And then on the third day, I get a message saying that, you know, oh, unfortunately, you were not selected. So, but thank you for your video. Now, honestly, I wasn't really disappointed at all because, you know, this is show business, right? I mean, there's rejections all the time. You know, you just have to suck it up and deal with it. So I was like, okay, I'll just go about my business and just go on with life. But later that day, I got another message from the same producer saying that they suddenly got a role for me and I wasn't going to be playing the role that I had signed up for. It was for another role. So, okay, let's do that. And they messaged me and asked me if I had flamboyant type clothing. I'm like, wait a minute. And then they sent me an example and it turns out that I do have a, a robe that belongs to my wife uh, that's pink in color that looks kind of flashy and flamboyant and they said okay cool why don't you wear it and then send us a picture of yourself wearing it did that send it to them and said okay great bring that to the shoot tomorrow I needed to take a COVID test the night before the shoot and also on the day and the morning before the shoot negative so I did those, thankfully I was negative. negative. My call time was 11 a.m. in the morning. Now the shoot is later this morning and I read the script. I'm supposed to be some dude who's sitting at the, at the massage chair or something and then whoop, a real masseuse appears and starts massaging my shoulder. So I'm just making sure this morning I have enough shoulders for the masseuse to massage. Let's not forget the other side. I was a little bit excited, so I actually got there a little earlier. Basically, all the scenes that you see in the commercial were shot in that house, except for the final scene. This is strange for me because, you know, I've never been a talent before in a commercial. Talent waiting area, right here. They gave me some lunch. I'm not sure if I want to eat it right now, though, because, you know, if I eat it, then not probably add all that extra weight and it's gonna show on camera you know what they say right camera adds 15 pounds so I didn't eat at all maybe it's because I was just nervous I don't know but anyway they brought me to the talent waiting room and that's where I met uh, some of the other talents a bunch of nice people and they're all professional actors I was like the only one the only noob there it was great uh, I learned a lot from them they told me about what the industry is like after about 10 minutes the makeup artist came up to me and asked me to go up to the makeup artist room where she proceeded to try and make me beautiful she even trimmed my eyebrows i'm like wait a minute i don't have any eyebrows to begin with what do you mean trim but she did something and then she put some other type of eyeshadow or wait was it eyeshadow or thanks for telling you i look pretty now then she sent me on my way back to the talent waiting room where i was asked to get into costume i'm supposed to wear this so i'm going to change to this clothes now Alright, let's go. It's quite interesting to see that uh, all the crew members here, are, they all have walkie-talkies so that they know exactly what's happening in the shoot. And 
since this location has multiple stories, so they need to know what happens. Like, for example, if the director's done shooting downstairs, at least they'll know so the costuming guy can bring the clothes down for the next actor. So it's quite interesting. And speaking of costumes, I think I wore my shirt inside out. I've got makeup on and wow, it really looks good. I mean, you really can tell the difference when, when you shoot a video. I mean, I can see it right now. The thing is, it's even when you have an itch, I have to resist the urge to scratch myself on my face. Not long after that, I was asked to go to the room where I was supposed to do my scene. And here's the interesting part. The moment I got up there, one of the crew members yelled, talent on set. I've heard of this before, watching documentaries about how um, shoots are done. But realizing that I was the reason for the crew to shout talent on set and they were referring to me it was really a surreal experience. I felt kind of special. Another thing that was really interesting is while waiting for them to set up, one of the crew members was actually standing next to me and fanning me. This is the strangest thing. He's fanning me to make sure I don't sweat because sweat kind of ruins makeup, right? The director told me to get into position. My scene takes place in a massage chair. They shot me in different angles, a slightly wider shot, and then they did a couple of close-up shots and some really close-up shots. And then they filmed my hand pressing a button on the, on, on the phone. And 45 minutes later, I was done. It was really cool because I got to work with one of my co-actors who was supposed to massage me. And as soon as my scene was done, pretty much the rest of the day was just hanging out with the crew members and the other talents as some of the talents waited for their turn to have their scenes shot. And that was it. Pretty much just hanging out and watching the crew shoot the other actors in their scene, quietly taking notes on how to light the room well and to make the scene look really great on camera. If anyone was feeling a little peckish, they have lots of snacks ready for you. I got all the COVID tests. They even reimbursed me my COVID test that I took last night and this morning. And then, roughly about 10 hours later, we were done with the shoot in that first location. We're leaving the location now, and then we're gonna go to the second location, which is a Maxis store. Yeah. And this is my co-talent. He was the muscle man. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. This Hi. is the, the handsome Maxis guy. Ma the handsome Maxis guy. He's uh, my co-talent. And we are now going to location number two. And this is the hero of all. He's like, appears in all our lives and makes He's our lives all better. Second. <laughs> Two seconds is all he needs to make our lives better. So we're going to the next location now and we're going to shoot there. We're getting the wrap very soon. Hopefully. The parking is all full. Funnily enough, we were able to get a parking space in front of the Maxis store. Once we arrived there, the crew started to set up the lighting and there were a couple of people from Maxis to help us get the, the place ready for the shoot. And that's the makeup artist touching up some of the other actors. In this scene, we were all supposed to be in the same scene. So we had to do a few things that had to be timed just right. So we had a lot of fun rehearsing for that. And about an hour and a half. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Well done, well done. <laughs> Beautiful four stars. Look at Aww, this. Aww, look at her. And thanks to your wife for this. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, honey. They say. I was sick. You were asking me to wear until wow. open summer. Hi. And then we took some nice photographs with the cast and crew and it was a long day. I was expecting it to be a long day, but it was a lot of fun. Of course, it's pretty much my first time in a real full-on commercial. So I guess the novelty is still there, right? But I had a great time and it was quite eye-opening actually. A lot of work goes into the production. The commercial is a one minute long commercial and it took a whole day. And this is not even considered a long shoot by any means. The team was very, very efficient in their use of time and usage of resources. And the lighting was really done nicely. And the director, Brian, really did a good job in directing us. I'd like to thank Dan Koo Productions and Machamia Studios for giving me the opportunity to try this out. Had a lot of fun. I think this is something that I could do again in future. Keep your day job.